All right, all right, folks. Um, today I'm going to show you how to set up the GLI Net Mini Router with Viper VPN. Um, this, of course, will allow you to watch games, particularly at weekends. Um, ISPs are now limiting speeds to certain internet streams, um, particularly during the football. This box, of course, works on many devices, but it's great for Zay Jimmers and um, smart TVs. Um, in fact, for anyone using the smart IPTV app on the smart TV, really. Um, okay, well, um, if you have any questions, let me know and um, yeah, check it out. Bye. Okay, so I've already connected the router to my main router, so I'm going to log in here. I'll choose your language, I'm going to choose English, then choose your location. See, I'm in London, so I'm going to find that select there. Then create your password for this mini router. By the way, I'm connected via Wi Fi, that's how I've um, set up mine, <coughs> that's how it's connected at the moment. So I'm just going to create a password. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is see if there's an update. So if your box has got the latest firmware. If it hasn't, go ahead and download it. This uh, box needs an update. So I'm going to go ahead and download the latest firmware. Should be pretty rapid. So once it's downloaded, you need to um, click the update button right there, and it will begin to upgrade your box. Now, this is going to take some time, I'm going to fast forward it a little bit. So, you know, it's going to take a few minutes, you know, possibly around five minutes, uh, but you know. For the sake of convenience, I'm gonna fast forward it to the 97. No, when it will slow down when it gets to 97 percent. All right, nearly there. All right. So when this completes, um, it should disconnect from, from your router. Uh, you might lose connection, so you just, you just need to go ahead and connect to the mini router again. You know, wait a few minutes. Try entering the IP address again, and yeah, so when it's come back online, I'm gonna the password I've just created. Then we can start configuring uh, VPN. So when you're on this screen, you go ahead and click the Open VPN tab. Then drag the Open VPN configuration files so you can provide VPN into that little area. So I'm going to find it on my computer. Grab it and literally just drop it there. That will turn green. You will then be prompted with this. Uh, box to enter your username and password. So these will be your Viper VPN details. I'm going to go ahead and enter those now. Okay, then once you see that, what you're going to do, you want to enable that box, you want to check that box and also check the second box that um, below, okay? Then select your region. Uh, I would recommend Netherlands, but for convenience sake, I'm going to um, you choose New York. Let's just find New York. There it is. Then go ahead and apply. It should work straight away. If it doesn't, don't worry. You'll need to set up your custom DNS. So go ahead and click that link. If that link is not there, you can do this another way. But um, if that link appears, just go ahead and click it and we'll set the DNS. 
this is pretty straightforward. What you want to do is enter 8.8.8.8 in the first box and 8.8.4.4 in the second box. Check that little box below. Then go ahead and click apply. Now sometimes you may need to restart your device after doing this, but normally you shouldn't. Uh, it takes up to 10 seconds to update. So I'm just going to go ahead and click open VPN to see if we're connected. Alright, super, we're connected. That's great. So we're connected. What you're going to do now is go back to your home screen and on this little area you want to toggle to VPN. Okay, so therefore, and obviously click apply. So therefore, each time this device is turned on, you have your VPN um, configured. So now I'm going to go ahead and open a web tool. Yeah, open a web browser just to double check we're still connected and find what IP address we're on, the location anyway. That's the uh, ghost IP address, but where's the location? New York. Forget about it. <laughs> yeah, and that's it. And that's how you um, set up your router. Pretty straightforward. If you have any questions.